Hey guys, this is nutritionist Nikita Oswal and you're watching me on Fat to Fit Curves. Today, we are going to make a very interesting recipe which is for all those people who love to have sweets after every single meal or just want to have sweet for their sweet craving or as a snack. And if you're a chocolate lover, this is going to be your favorite chocolate from now onwards. So let's not waste more time and let's straight get to the recipe. Before that, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. So today we are going to make stuffed dates. You must have heard about it uh, many a times but it seems to look like something very fancy and complicated but in reality it is not. It is super quick, easy and super healthy at the same time. We are going to give it a chocolate touch so that all the chocolate lovers can have it too and uh, satisfy their craving at the same time. Now let's get stuffing going date. I will firstly introduce you to all the ingredients that we are going to use in this. Let's have a look. Most dominant ingredient that we'll be using is dates. In most of the date recipes, you must be observing that they use those uh, medjool dates which are very famous uh, and uh, very gooey and soft and considered one of the premium dates. But here I have used these uh, very casual, easily available date crown dates uh, because I like it a little hard and they are small as well. Uh, they become more bite size but you can use any sort of dates that you have avail readily available at home or uh, you prefer eating. So if you are looking for more gooeyness or uh, a little softer texture then go for medjool dates or any dates that uh, you prefer otherwise these are perfectly good now coming to our second ingredient uh, which is almonds okay I have roasted them these are non roasted uh, walnuts then you have roasted peanuts here I've removed the skin from this this is roasted sesame seeds and these are mixed nuts uh, which I have uh, roasted and then crushed them a little and this is another main ingredient which is peanut butter this is homemade peanut butter so you can use market bought peanut butter butter as well just make sure it is not loaded with uh, too much of sugar this is 70% dark chocolate so I have what I've done is I took a dark chocolate compound and a milk chocolate compound and I've taken 70% uh, of uh, dark chocolate and 30% of milk chocolate mixed them and uh, microwaved it for almost a minute and this is what I got out of it so these are seeded ones so we need to deep it them by yeah just remove these uh, seeds from them okay we are going to deep it a few of them do it carefully we don't need to tear them apart into two we need to keep them intact it's amazing for most of us of course uh, with people who have diabetes they have to be a little more careful by using dates so otherwise everybody and anybody can be having dates on a regular basis so we are good to go now now Personally, I wanted to use peanut butter. There are two reasons to it. The combination of peanut butter and date is an amazing combination. So I have personally used peanut butter in this. You can use various uh, kinds of fillings. Uh, it can be uh, goat cheese or it can be uh, any other filling that you prefer to. Because I am making it uh, from a health point of view, I would prefer peanut butter and trust me, it does give it a great taste. You just need to try this one. So we are going to fill all these ones with peanut butter. Even kids are going to love this one. Just try it, make a batch of it and keep it at your home. And uh, you can use it for weeks by keeping it uh, in a cold place. So we are going to fill this. Okay, the larger dates can be filled with uh, obviously generous amount. But because this is a smaller one, I can as much as I can accommodate I'm doing it so what you can do is in the same batch you can make a variety of uh, dates and then you know you can mix and match and have them sometimes you can do it with uh, peanut butter sometimes with cheese sometimes with something else all right we are done here with the uh, filling of this peanut butter now we can keep this aside I'm going to put different things uh, in most of these so here I'm going to take an almond just one almond just insert it okay now we're going to use 
few walnuts so I've chopped the walnuts to a little smaller size so that they can just fit in you need to open them up and then fill it a little and don't bother about the peanut butter coming out a little it is perfectly okay and uh, yes now this the peanut one you'll just feel that you're having sneakers the first thing uh, that we can be doing with this is just put it in a mixture of your almonds uh, walnuts then pistachio which have been chopped very small and just dip it and take it out so all the peanut butter on the side will make sure that uh, the mixture is stuck to this this is one way you can be doing it this is completely nuts nothing else okay uh, what I like to do with this is coating it with a little bit of chocolate because that makes it like super tasty and at the same time uh, for all those chocolate lovers this is a treat okay so a very thin layer of chocolate and you're good to go so you can keep it directly here like this or you can take it out on a parchment paper however you like it so I'm going to do this to all of it what you can also do is dip this in your sesame seeds roasted sesame seeds and keep it for all those people who are not aware sesame seeds are extremely rich in calcium if you are not having dairy and dairy products you can't get calcium that is not true you can you can get calcium from many other sources and sesame seeds is one of them Also what you can do is just instead of coating it completely you can also just drizzle it a little bit and you know you are sorted. But I think it tastes much better when it is coated. They are good for almost 3 to 4 weeks. Yes the cheese ones and uh, any other filling uh, that depends but uh, as in uh, when we talk about the peanut butter filling it goes long way one we're going to keep it like this you can do a bit of dressing to them as well okay so that they become a little more nutty so this is one set of thing that we have made let's just keep this aside now we are going to make another quick recipe with dates again what we usually buy from the market in the name of uh, energy balls is what I'm going to show you today it's super easy super quick and uh, without any preservatives have better shelf life it is loaded with vitamins it is rich in fat but it is all good fats here I'm going to take this uh, small mixer because I'm going to make it only with a few dates and show it to you so again we need to deep it then you can buy uh, the non pitted ones itself okay you don't have to buy this uh, but because I already had them so I'm using them so I have put in almost six dates in this now we are going to add almost uh, three spoons of peanut butter to this you can also use the real peanuts there is no such harm but uh, I somehow like the gooiness of this one so I prefer using peanut butter instead of peanuts directly it gives a different texture to it altogether if you prefer you can add in a little bit of sesame seeds it's like two to three spoons I'm going to add a bit of almonds to it you can make it without almonds as well okay you can just uh, keep sesame seeds peanut butter and the dates and now we are going to churn this I've already churned this in the mixer now Ta-da! so after churning this it's a little tight 
if you like it a little softer you can adjust the consistency by adding ingredients to it as per your comfort like more peanut butter more gooey it becomes so i'm doing it with the help of a spoon you can always use a scooper for this so here we go we are going to make small bite size balls again Yeah. And just like this we are going to make all out of them. Just remember one thing, um the shelf life again is uh, not too long. Okay? And especially once you add uh things like walnuts and sesame seeds because they leave some oil. So if you tend to eat after a long time you might feel a little bit of pungent smell in it so prefer finishing it in 2 weeks so make a batch accordingly you can also make uh, you know bars out of it like lay them straight on a tray and then cut them into small pieces or make uh, you know those nutrition bars uh, whatever size you like i personally like making this but you can make however it is comfortable for you they can be used as pre-workout uh, snack or post-workout snack Trust me guys this is super delicious okay so we are going to coat it with different things one can be again coated with roasted sesame seeds then you can coat it with roasted mixed nuts then comes my personal favorite i would want to coat it with dark chocolate this another one into chocolate again remember guys dates have so many benefits to it you should not think twice before including them in your daily diet you can consume them just directly just like that okay you don't have to do this but i'm doing this because uh, right now we are targeting also all those people who have the sweet craving and you know end up eating a lot of chocolates and mithais for them this is great substitute okay you can swap your mithais and chocolates with this and trust me you'll not feel like you're compromising on something because this is super delicious just try them once and you will thank me for sure you can just to a little bit of this okay now we're going to plate them So these are the stuffed dates and these are the energy balls. They just don't look delicious, they taste even better. So you guys are going to try this and let me know how did you like the recipe. If you have any suggestions for improvements, please do write down to me and don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for being a great audience. This is Nikita signing off for the day.